Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. It is the first of the month, which means it is sheet load of cards day. I hope you'll stick around, see the sketch for December, see the first set I made, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. As many of you know, the first of the month is a big day around my channel. It is when I debut the latest sheet load of cards. Now, if you're new to my channel or new to sheet load of cards, it is a printable that I put out each month that gives you a new sketch, a supply list, and tells you how to make the most of your papers and card stocks to yield a sheet load of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 to 12 cards, depending on the sketch and the paper size. And after I show you the debut today, tomorrow I will be back to show you how I made my first set. And my team of collaborators will be joining me here on YouTube and over on Instagram with their first sets of the month. Make sure to go ahead and follow them or subscribe to their channels. Everybody is linked in that description box below. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at this month's printable. Here's a look at the December 2022 sheet load of cards. This month, we're going to use two pieces of 12 by 12 paper and some cardstock to yield eight cards. Now, if you take a look at the sketch, you will see we have kind of a fun element on here, this diagonal piece. And this month, I do have lots of extra instructions both for that piece and to help you put it together. So make sure you are taking note of any special notes I have. And unlike previous months where there is a sketch and supply list and your cutting guide page, this month it is a three page printable. That third page has some additional instructions and a special template for you. Now I do go over those special instructions throughout the printable, but don't forget that I will be back tomorrow to show you how I put them together. And I will definitely be talking more about that and showing you how to use that third page. Now back on the first page, like always, you have the new sketch and then you have your supplies needed, how many you're gonna yield. And if you don't wanna make a full sheet load, but you still like that sketch, I do give you single card dimensions. At the bottom, I have some alternatives, whether that's rotating the sketch, adding a fishtail to the sediment, or maybe popping some pieces up with foam tape. On page two are the cutting guides. This month, you're going to yield eight card bases. Now, mine do show they are a top fold, but you can always do a side fold if you prefer. And then you're going to have four pieces of cardstock of the same color, and then a half sheet for your sentiment pieces. Now, this half sheet, this is a great one if you have some scraps of cardstock to use it for that. Make sheet load work for you with what you have. And on page three, I give you some additional instructions and a special template to help you get that diagonal piece correct across the center. Now, if you're going to go ahead and get started today before I go over the process tomorrow, just so you know, this diagonal strip is originally one piece that you make a cut on and then you switch it. Like here, the bottom is at the top left and the top is at the bottom left. I do have some additional instructions here. And once you have your main piece of pattern paper matted and this strip cut up, you can lay them over here as long as you print this at 100%. So make sure to do that. But you can lay it right here and then line up your pieces before you cut off the excess and put it on your card base. But again, tomorrow I'll be back and show you how to do that. Before I show you my first set and tell you how you can download this printable for free, let's go ahead and take a look at the main supplies I use for this month's cards. 
for my set this month, I decided to go with a winter theme. So I got out this stamp set I got at Joanne a couple years ago, and I'm going to be using Warmest Wishes for my sentiment. I thought this would cover a variety of reasons to send a card for, and I will also be decorating my sentiment strip with some of these accent snowflakes. The inks I'm going to use are Gina K Designs in the Navy and Powder Blue. I got out my four pieces of cardstock. This is also Gina K's Powder Blue, and I got us out a scrap of white for my sentiments. For my papers, I will be using a couple pieces from Echo Park's Winter Line. I like this one over here for those big bold snowflakes with the ship background. And then I wanted more of a solid pattern, so I went with the navy background with the white dots and white snowflakes. That ties into these darkest snowflakes here, and I just thought those two matched up well together. Let's go ahead and take a look at my first set for the month. I hope you enjoyed that look at my first set of cards using the December 2022 sheet load. As you can see, I did use some of the scraps of the pattern paper on the insides of the cards. And now, let me tell you how you can download the printable for free. As always, I do ask that you are subscribed to my channel before you click on the PDF link. I'll tell you where that's at in just a minute. We do just go on the honor system here. I don't make you email me any proof or sign up for any lists. Please just make sure before you click on the link, you have already clicked on that subscribe button below. You are gonna find this month's link down in the description box, right underneath my supply list. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You watching the entire video is how I keep Sheetload free for all. Now you can either download it to your device and print it off, or you can just open it on your device and use it on screen. That is totally up to you. Also, you can print it in black and white or color, but this month, don't forget, because you do want to use the template on page three to print it at full size or 100%. If you're excited to start creating with a new sheet load, as always, a thumbs up on this video is appreciated. Until tomorrow, where I share the process and my team of collaborators joins me, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.